This is Shuttle Launch Control, and we are coming up on T-minus five minutes and counting. T-minus five minutes and counting. And we have a go for APU start. The auxiliary power unit activation has been reported. APU starting work. CDR, OTC, reconfigure heaters. Start to work. OTC, CDR. T minus four minutes, 30 seconds, and counting. The primary objective of this shuttle mission is to conduct extensive scientific research and experimentation in space from the Space Hab double module. DLT, APU start is complete with three good APUs. Copy. T minus four minutes and counting. The final test of the flight control surfaces now, is now being conducted. This is a programmed pattern of movements designed to verify the readiness of the launch vehicles, of the launch engines, and other flight control systems. T-minus three minutes, 25 seconds, and counting. And final aero surface checks of the orbiter's wing elevons and rudder are being completed at this time. This verifies the orbiter's hydraulic systems. And next, we'll see the three main engines be gimbaled as a final test prior to launch. T-minus three minutes and counting, and everything is looking good for launch this morning. All systems on board Columbia are operating with no problems reported. And the gaseous oxygen vent hood will be slowly retracted away from the top of the external tank. TLT, OTC, clear caution warning memory, verify no unexpected errors. OTC, PLT, that's in work, we see no unexpected errors. for the flight crew closed and launching visors and initiate O2 plus. T minus two minutes and counting. O2 for on Texas Million. Still up to go for ET, LHT, Texas H. DDLPS, no hold, no LCC, RF glitch. We're inhibiting the redundant switch and the active step. Okay, we copy. SPE, you copy? SPE, copy. And here it's still go. T minus one minute, 30 seconds, and counting. We're performing our pre planned and we are still go to continue the count. Roger, copy that. The liquid hydrogen tank inside the external tank is reported to be at the proper flight pressures. T-minus one minute and counting. The booster joint heaters are being deactivated at this time, and all continues to look good for launch of Shuttle Columbia from Kennedy Space Center in Florida. And we're coming up on a go for our auto sequence start. And we have a go for auto sequence start. Columbia's onboard computers have primary control of all the vehicle's critical functions. T minus 20 seconds and counting. 15 seconds. 11, 10, 9, 8, 7.
seven. We have a go for main engine start. Five, four, three, two, one. We have booster ignition and liftoff of Space Shuttle Columbia with a multitude of national and international space research experiments. Houston now controlling the flight of Columbia, the international research mission finally underway. Roger, roll Columbia. Com Columbia now rolling on to the proper azimuth for a 39 degree inclination to orbit. Shuttle in a heads down wings level position for the eight and a half minute ride to orbit. 30 seconds into the flight, the three liquid fuel main engines beginning to throttle back in a three-step fashion to 72% of rated performance, reducing the stress on the shuttle as it breaks through the sound barrier. Columbia already two and a half miles downrange from the Kennedy Space Center, four and a half miles in altitude, the main engines beginning to rev up to full throttle, 104% of rated performance. The throttle up call acknowledged by Commander Rick Husband, joined on the flight deck by pilot Willie McCool, flight engineer Colt Nachabla, and mission specialist Dave Brown, mission specialist Laurel Clark, payload commander Mike Anderson, and payload specialist Elon Ramon seated down on the mid deck. One minute, 26 seconds into the flight, Columbia 10 miles downrange, 13 miles in altitude, traveling at 1,800 miles an hour. away from solid rocket booster separation everything looking good on board Columbia Solid rocket booster separation confirmed. Guidance now converging. Columbia's onboard computers commanding the main engine nozzles to gently swivel, aiming the shuttle for a precise target in space for main engine cutoff. Columbia now 43 miles downrange, 35 miles in altitude, traveling 3,200 miles an hour. The propulsion officer and mission control reporting that the orbital maneuvering system engines have ignited, providing Columbia with a boost uphill for the next 90 seconds. seven miles downrange. Everything aboard Columbia in great shape. Three good main engines, three good auxiliary power units, three good fuel cells. Two-engine Marone. Two copy, two-engine Marone. That call from Capcom Charlie Hobaugh indicating that should we encounter a main engine failure, Columbia could reach a trans-oceanic abort site in Marone, Spain. However, all three main engines functioning by the book Columbia 85 miles downrange, 50 miles in altitude, traveling almost 4,000 miles an hour. Columbia's three main engines draining a half a ton of fuel per second from the shuttle's large external fuel tank. Those three main engines operating normally. Columbia heading towards space on the first shuttle mission of the year. Coming up on the point of negative return, where the shuttle will be too far downrange and too high in altitude to return to the launch site in the event of an engine failure. Columbia, Houston, negative return. Well, we copy negative return. Four minutes into the flight, Columbia already 147 miles downrange from the Kennedy Space Center, 62 miles in altitude, traveling more than 5,000 miles an hour, on course and on time for its orbit 150 nautical miles above the Earth. All quiet here in the flight control room. Four and a half minutes into the flight, Columbia 200 miles downrange traveling almost 6,000 miles an hour, 67 miles in altitude, everything looking very good on board.
Columbia, Houston. Press to ATO. We copy. Press to ATO. And Columbia, Houston, single engine, Ops 3. Copy, single engine, Ops 3. Those calls from Capcom Charlie Hoba indicating that should we lose two main engines, we can still make uh, minimal orbital cutoff targets. However, all three main engines continue to function normally and in great shape. Three good fuel cells, three good hydraulic power units. Columbia now 330 miles downrange, 70 miles in altitude, traveling almost 9,000 miles an hour as we approach the six-minute mark into the flight. Columbia, Houston, press to Miko and single engine Maroon 104. Copy, press to Miko and single engine Maroon 104. Columbia's computers now commanding the main engines to swivel again, enabling the shuttle to roll to a heads up position above its large fuel tank, gaining more favorable communications through the tracking and data relay satellite system as it heads uphill. Six and a half minutes into the flight, Columbia 440 miles downrange, traveling more than 10,000 miles an hour. Gravity forces are beginning to pick up for the crew on board. Uh, those gravity forces will be limited to 3 Gs as we approach uh, the point uh, about uh, one minute before main engine cutoff. Columbia in great shape, 500 miles downrange from the Kennedy Space Center at the seven minute mark into the flight. Columbia, Houston, single engine press 104, and we're expecting a nominal shutdown on all three engines. Okay, we copy single engine press 104, nominal shutdown. Columbia's main engines are starting to throttle down to limit the stress on the shuttle and its seven crew members to that of three times the effect of gravity. Columbia, 620 miles downrange, less than a minute away from main engine cutoff. Eight minutes into the flight of Columbia, the orbiter 736 miles downrange, traveling almost 16,000 miles an hour, 70 miles in altitude, about 20 minutes before main engine cutoff, 20 seconds before main engine cutoff. The booster officer reports a nominal main engine cutoff, a perfect ascent to orbit for Columbia, standing by for external tank separation. And the external tank has been jettisoned, a perfect launch for Columbia, a perfect climb to orbit. Seven astronauts now setting off on a 16-day marathon scientific mission. And we copy uh, Houston. Nominal Miko, Ohms 1, not required. Thanks.